um, the album. If we can talk about it, we are the same. Um, today, a lot of people losing their jobs. My friends, you know, parents losing their jobs and feeling a little worthless. Is, is that what you're trying to get the message across? Or is there a message? Are you trying to say, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a hockey fan or a biology major. We're all just the same kind of people. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think this was being, I was definitely working on this the last year, and it would have definitely would have started on it well before the credit crisis in America or whatever you want to say was the catalyst. But I think probably sensing, feeling a certain bankruptcy anyway in, uh, in ideas or for ideas. Or we are the same. Um, I like as a title because it's sort of at once true and, and entirely impossible. Because, um, of course, we aren't, but I think it's the thing we strive to say to each other. Every song in this record, uh, I realized, I kind of went through it before coming in here, is two people talking to each other, getting ready to leave, leaving, coming home, anticipating coming home. Just a woman sitting in a trailer up in Fort McMurray saying, this isn't what I wanted. These kinds of conversations. So I guess it's one of those comments that at once is designed to help make someone feel better. Um, and I hope it does. And that's what I noticed about the album. That's the one thing I really noticed. It made me feel good. You know, you're still, at certain times, especially the depression suite, um, I felt like you were getting angry in the song a little bit in the middle of, of the tune. But it motivated me. And I don't know why, but it motivated me to do something. Is that what you want people to feel? You want people to feel a positive feeling when, when they hear you, especially during the depression suite? Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I, I, it'd be hard for me now at this age and stage to leave a song without a glimmer of hopefulness but I always like to try and have some kind of uh, sense of hopefulness even in even in collapse I'd like to talk about your collaboration with Alice how that came about he asked me he uh, you know we'd met in a, at a baggage carousel I think um, after a Junos we met at the Junos a couple of years ago and he's just uh, you know he's a, a just a nice person yeah, I was grateful to be asked, and so I traipsed out to Hamilton to be with him and Dan Aiken and that great little studio out there, and, and he walked me through it, and he was very um, generous, and he showed me what to sing and, what, and how to sing, and it's a, it, it became the little song that could. A lot of people, after that Juno performance, I think the big buzz and the big talk was that, you know, when you're on stage, you have an aura about you, and everyone's immediately drawn to you, but when you were with Dallas, we almost felt like you were trying to just let him have the center. Did you do that on purpose? Did you just start to let step back and let Dallas sing? It's a beautiful voice. It's a beautiful song. It's his song. I needed to just support him. He just wouldn't stand in the middle of the stage. He said, I'm not a, I don't know what he said, I'm not a middle guy. I don't stand in the middle or something. So, And I only know the middle. <laughs> uh, so it worked out well.